we've had Miss Mulatto on Black yeah. TV. Yeah. And she won the, you know, the TV show. Mm-hmm. And when I explained, when I asked her why she didn't sign with you, she kind of gave, uh, I mean, she skipped around the answer a little bit, kind of said that just the situation wasn't the best for her. I'm already here. So in order for me to take a deal, it needs to be here. You get what I'm saying? You, you feel like mm-hmm. you're catching the vibe. You know what I'm saying? Yep. Um, it would just have to be something extraordinary. And being that um, after I won the um, TV show, I took uh, I took some of my cash and invested it. And you know what I'm saying? I was just, it's too many money flows right now. Like, I can, I can ride this independent route for a minute. So if you're not offering this. I'm I'm not even gonna sit down and have a conversation with you. You know what I'm saying? That that that's basically what it was. Yeah, all the artists are signed though. It's not it's not even a situation of they don't they don't they don't just come on that TV show for oh, free. Oh, so she was signed before she even came on the show? Yeah, they all get signed. They all it's just you know a TV show artists go when they go on these TV shows they 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 sign over their rights as you know that's part of being on these shows. You know you ever watch American Idol and people like. Yeah, Simon's gonna still put out this person even though this person doesn't win. Mm. They signed to him. Okay, so you signed her ahead of time along with everyone else. It's a TV show, so the artist, when you sign up for this, this is things that you have to, you Okay. Know, that comes along with it. But she started putting out music independently. Yeah. Do you just allow that to happen because you're not tripping? 100%. Okay. I'm from the rap world and I'm, you know, I know how, I know how rap works. Okay. You know what I mean? And at the same time, I know that, um, I know that Vlad TV didn't know who Miss Mulatto was until she was on a rap game. True. So therefore, you know, let these artists build up, they, let them build up, they, okay. they, they, res, you know, resume. So if you wanted to be a hard nosed businessman, you could basically say, okay, all these songs. Yeah, I could have. This was a, this was a while back. You know what I mean? Yeah. She was on, she was on the first season. Yeah. I'm on five now. So. Okay. <laughs> yeah. That's dope, man. I mean, listen, you, you obviously have made your money over the years. You're not trying to dip into Well, I mean, it's not even about that. I feel like, you know, you can't, you can't put out, you know, one thing I want to say about the rap game is that just because artists come on, and I feel this way about American Idol and all that, just because you come on this show and you win um, over the other four people that's on the show, that doesn't mean that you're actually prepared to beat Nicki Minaj, the brat. Bow wow. Like nobody that's been on the rap game yet to me is as um well minded as Bow Wow was when he was twelve. Mm. You know what I mean? I'm still trying to find artists that come on that show that, that can even fit in that space. But I've seen it. You know, that's what I'm saying. They don't a lot of the artists and the parents they don't understand that. I seen a kid artist crisscross were not even rappers. They weren't rappers. That's not something they wanted right. to do. They weren't even thinking about making music when I met them. Right. I heard that you had just seen them in the mall and you said, yeah. hey, they have a look. Yeah. I and told, that was it. They, they had their own style. They was, they, they, was, they was like, they knew what swag was before even, I wasn't even paying no attention to like dressing the way they were. Mm-hmm. They, this was their whole thing. And they grabbed on to becoming rappers in a way that I ain't never really seen nobody else do it. And they was 11 and 12 years old. And when they caught it, it was something that like, it was like a disease. Like you would have never thought they weren't rappers. I say that to say that when I see all these other young kids come at me about this TV show, that's what makes it so much harder for these kids to win on that show or how much, how hard I am on the show is because I've seen, I've seen this level of these kids in so many different spaces. Well, you became the second hip hop artist to be inducted in the Songwriters Hall of Fame. Yeah. Who was the first? Jay Z. Jay Z. Okay, that's what I thought. And um, you thought that that was actually kind of outrageous that you were only the second out of all the hip hop songwriters out there. Yeah, because you don't actually think about it until somebody put it on the table like this. That you know, first of all, there ain't many artists that have twenty year careers in rap. You know, it's some, but they don't, you know, are they still popping today? They still, you know, somebody talking to them? I don't, no, it's not a lot, basically. It's not a lot of artists who have 20-year careers in rap. 